Hi! Welcome to Sacagaweas in my room! Now you're probably wondering, where do we sleep? We keep our bed and everything inside this basket. I make our bed on our star mat. Bed. I make it like this. <laughs> oh my goodness! It makes itself! Do you like making the bed? Yes. Okay. Jump out of frame. And action. So this is where Sakajoya and I sleep. Now you're probably wondering, are you guys sleeping on the ground? And the easy answer to that is yes. Yes, we are. Here's why. When your back is stabilized and everything is aligned, your muscles can relax. So on the floor, your hips, spine and back are all aligned. Studies have shown that sleeping on your back on a hard surface actually is very stabilizing for your spine. Unlike a mattress, which lets your back sag into it. When I was 16, I used to have a mattress, but I asked my mom, can I get rid of it and get a futon? And that's how I've slept for seven years. One of the best choices in my life. On the other hand, sleeping on the floor or another hard surface actually has a lot of health benefits. Being in a bad postural position for a very long time makes your muscles and ligaments active. Having that much stress on your joints can cause disc inflammation, muscle cramps, a stiff neck, lower leg pain, lower back pain, and the list just goes on and on. So that soft, comfortable mattress that you spent thousands of dollars on is actually an enemy to your health and you lose all of your spinal stability, resulting in bad posture. Sometimes comfortable becomes too comfortable and you end up bending yourself into very bad postural positions and your spine is not supported in any way, shape or form. This is very bad. You spend about one third of your life sleeping. That's eight hours of doing nothing. Many people end up buying a soft and comfortable mattress but still end up having back and sleeping problems. Why? After spending thousands on a mattress, you could have just slept on the floor. For example, Japan and Korea both sleep on futons on the floor. Sleeping on the floor is actually very common amongst many countries and cultures. So clearly, sleeping on a futon is much more better for your health. I don't know if that went well. But <laughs> <laughs> so sleeping on a futon is actually much more better for your health. You also have better circulation. Sleeping on the ground can actually loosen tight, achy muscles. In Korea, you can also find stone or clay beds, which are basically a slab of stone or clay that people sleep on. Side note, these are the beds that we're getting for the Forever House. If you look at which countries live the longest, Korea and Japan are on the top 10 list of who lives the longest. And just like them, we sleep on futons also. Then you're calling over approximately 170 million people from Japan, Korea, and various other countries unhealthy. Also, if you want to try this, I just want to let you know that at first, your body will not be used to sleeping on the ground. Muscles have memory, and if you've been sleeping on a mattress for years and years and years, your body will be adapted to that mattress. So when you lie down, it may be a little uncomfortable for a few nights. But after you have adapted, you will wake up so refreshed and ready to conquer your day. We could buy traditional beds with four legs, but instead we choose to sleep on futons. I think you can see why. this basket. Yes. Now that you know where me and Sakajoe are asleep, on to where everyone else sleeps. I was going to sleep in the music slash dance slash workout room. Let's go. Ah. Yes. Right here. Right about this way. No, no, no. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and we wake up all that way. Got my vinyls. There. There. Ta-da! Over there too. In the stand. A saxophone over here. Workout mats. So this is what we do. <laughs> I originally started sleeping on a futon when I got rid of my traditional bed at the lakeside house for three reasons. Which nice. are, first reason was I read on the internet that it makes your back feel better. So I started doing it and straight away in the first night I didn't wake up from my back hurting and I slept through the whole night and I felt very comfortable. And as someone who grew really fast, my back kind of hurt. Well, I slept better than I had ever slept before. I remember you did stop complaining. I finally made the decision, got rid of my bed, started sleeping on the ground, and it felt way better. The second reason was, when I was sleeping on a mattress, I would wake up and I'd slam my head in the ceiling because we slept in a loft. I would lie down and it would be this close to my head. And I'd wake up and slam it right into a wood beam. Jerusalem! Jerusalem, oh. something's happening in the car! I couldn't breathe. 
Third reason being, I was interested in the Asian culture and I incorporated that part into my living. And it felt very comfortable, I slept better than I had ever slept. And it's doing a lat spread like this. Romeo, you look smaller than Shakespeare. I got even a better reason. Why? Nothing's gonna grab me from under my bed and go like this. That being scared. And also it's cooler in the summer because heat rises up. I prefer my place to be more empty. Romeo got rid of his teddy bears lately. So when he's sleeping, he hugs the people next yeah. to him. That's a lie. <laughs> I it's not a teddy. lie! I never this had teddy boy, bears. I never, never had teddy bears, but do you know what he does when he's sleeping? <laughs> he might be sleeping, and this is him. And you grab, and you, and you try and pull you and hug you, and I'm like, get away from me. <laughs> it's not a lie, is it? No. Is it true? Yeah. It's not true. <laughs> well, you cried in a night. I used to sleepwalk and cry when I was little. Yeah. That's and true, too. People. You can take that out of <laughs> 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 I did pee on Cleopatra on the Barbie house. I peed down the stairs and I woke up once peeing and running in a circle. <laughs> I didn't know where the toilet was in my dream. And I, and I went to Do you want to add an age to this? Oh, I was 18. Si yeah, 18. <laughs> I was like six, wasn't I? Yeah. I, I didn't pee in my bed, I would sleepwalk. Yeah. All the time. We'd twice. find you in the kitchen. I woke up once going through Omega's clothes. No, not Omega's, Shakespeare's clothes. In our Hi. first house in Finland. What's and that called? That sleeping thing. Right. Yeah. It's sleepwalking on an extreme level. I was pretty <laughs> much stepbrothers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, you were! And I'd wake up in random places. I remember I'd often waking up in the land room in front of me and dad were like, Drusum, wake up! Yes, and I'd wake Drusum, up in the wake up! A lot. I prefer it more minimalistic because I can break dance and play the violin. If we would have bunk beds in here, how would I be able to do a windmill for and all those things? How would I be able to practice? So I can just pack these up, put them in the cupboard. And I'm pretty sure when I move to my own place, I'll keep sleeping on the food. We give them a little shake to air them out. Them really nicely into the cupboard. I have the second drawer. Shakespeare and Dottain have the bottom drawer, Romeo has the middle drawer, I have the top drawer. All done? Yep. Room is back. No, uh, you can go ahead, Spin. We weren't looking at that time. Exactly. That's my head, Spin. I understand this. No, they're still pretty cool. Yay! Okay, oh, under the children's room. From the boys' room we go here. We sleep with mommy and daddy. Go in you go. Who sleeps where? I sleep here. I sleep here. I sleep here. And where did mommy and daddy sleep? Daddy sleeps here and mommy sleeps here. And I sleep here. Omega, do you think you have enough teddy bears there? I'll go some away. Have you got enough? Yes. Okay. What have you got? Let me. I go to sleep here, but I wake up here, here, or here, or here. Only joking. Thank goodness he sleeps on a futon. Otherwise, he will fall out of bed. Paul and I have this big area to sleep in. The little ones sleep over here. Hello. If King James was in a bunk bed, we would be hearing donk donk at night all the time. Yeah. People would say you get those edges. Mommy, but that's what I was about to say. What were you we about say to say? I put edges. When a human had a bunk bed, he would drop on the ground. Yeah, but if we get bunk beds in here, we have to get rid of all the toys. Or most of them. Okay. Do you want to get rid of the toys? But no, we take them. No. No. I love it. No. <laughs> get rid of all of your little toys. <laughs> no, we're not really getting rid of it. I like to sleep on the ground because I can roll No, no! <laughs> oh my god. No, 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 no. Omega. 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 How many times have we spoke about this? We're going to pack this up. Where did mummy and daddy and you guys put our stuff? In here. Yeah. In there. In the box. These pillows are going to go in the cupboard. Okay. Now we're done, now shut the door. Now to end this, now to end this video, if you like this video, you'd probably like these videos right here too. Oh, this no. one. Is it on that side? Yes, it's on this side. Are you Wait. sure it's not on that side? 
I think it's on that side. It's on this side. Octopus all in the middle. If you like this video, you'll also like these videos. These videos! Press it! Press any of them!